Authenticity is a crucial practice on the spiritual awakening journey. Uh, it helps us to be open, it helps us to be transparent, it helps us to be genuine, uh, and it helps us to be true to our deepest needs and desires. Uh, however, if we aren't careful, authenticity can become yet yeah, another treadmill, another trap uh, to punish ourselves, to shame ourselves, and to reject ourselves. Mm. I think it's important to be able to tell the difference between uh, authenticity as a practice uh, mm. versus authenticity as a role that we adopt. Mm. Uh, the value of authenticity as a practice and why you know, it's so talked about and why it's so, val you know, it, it's so necessary to, uh, to bring into our lives is that it allows us to tune into ourselves, uh, to, to discern what exactly is our needs and our desires versus the needs and desires and the ideals that we may have adopted from you know, the culture around us, the values that we've been exposed to. Uh, and yet, authenticity as a role is, is slightly different. It's more of a spiritual ego where we portray this idea and this image of ourselves that we're authentic, that we don't care, that, uh, that it's almost very reactionary, uh, where you're just... Uh, going over the top. It's, it's, when anything, anything is imbalanced, it'll go to extremes, is the way I see it. And so it becomes almost like a form of a status game, uh, especially among the toxic spiritual circles, where they'll shame each other because they don't perceive each other to be authentic enough, uh, that they're not expressing their true self or whatever it is that they use as an excuse. Mm -hmm. And we can internalize that judgmental attitude towards ourselves and use it as yet another uh, tool of shame, you know, another tool to reject and, and judge and condemn ourselves, you know, when we're afraid and want to hide from the world. Really, authenticity can be used as a way of punishing and and flagellating our inner child that just doesn't feel safe in some moments to come out and to fully express themselves and to fully be themselves you know so in that sense authenticity can can be something quite toxic depending on how you approach it and it leads to the question you know at what point have you actually really truly become authentic you know, this whole authentic ideal. At what point have you truly become authentic? When you start taking photos of the drool on your pillow or <laughs> your shit stains on the toilet? You know, how transparent and authentic yeah. do, we, do we want to be here? <laughs> <laughs> Authenticity as a concept is irrelevant here. The bravest thing that you can do in a world that is constantly trying to change you is being yourself. Authenticity will come as a byproduct of that. It's not something that you directly pursue, that you go after. It's something that mm. comes as the consequence, as a side effect of something else. And in this case, mm. that something else is being able to tune into yourself, to mm. go deep within and explore what's there. Authenticity will take care of itself.